Merry Christmas. What? Hope you're doing good. Um, this video is going to be for the commercial applicator, uh, whether you're a small company, large company, medium sized company, whatever, you could probably fit this into your service in some way, shape, or form if you choose to. If you don't, don't even worry about it. Um, we use a couple of permagreen machines uh, for our larger properties and smaller properties. What I mean by smaller is like the 6,000 square foot or less. We have a pickup truck that we will send out and in the pad we have this little spreader here and of course this and this is great for the uh the guy that um don't want to invest nine grand in a permagreen or ten grand in a z spray or nine grand in a ground logic or whatever they all cost uh this is an option for you you can get the lesco spreader they're like 450 bucks and uh this is the LT Rich Power Pro 50. Uh, I think it's like a grand, 1100. So you got around 1500 bucks or so in your setup. And granted, you can't spray. I think Permagreen makes a little spray system that fits in the top up there. Uh, we don't have one. Uh, we would spot spray with backpacks uh, on yards that small anyway. So good little option. Uh, we use it when it's really wet. Uh, uh, and we still need to get pro production done. And even when the permagreens are a little too heavy for a wet area, we'll use these. Uh, we also use them uh, during aeration and seeding. We run three seeding crews, and each crew is outfitted with an aerovator, a Z plug, and some type of spreader. Where well, two of the crews have permagreens, and the third crew gets two of these one with the motor and one without uh, and that that crew typically goes to the smaller yards and we'll just keep the fertilizer in here because it's heavier and then the other one with the uh, grass seed it doesn't have the engine we just push that one so uh, makes the job a little easier uh, for the bigger crew that may be a op bigger company that may be a good option for you right there uh, the problem is when we get into fertilization uh, after seeding well we we typically hook a big old trailer behind this just to haul that thing around well i had this idea of a wheelchair ramp and so that's what i wanted to show you and you know this if, if you like it cool if you don't like it cool it's just an idea i'm throwing out there uh, maybe to help somebody along the way especially someone that may be just getting started uh, this is an ultra toe 60 inch aluminum cargo carrier with ramp 500 pound capacity i got the one that's 60 inches long 28 inches wide this setup over here is 24 inches wide and 48 inches from handlebar to the front of the hopper so you got plenty of room it's going to be a, i haven't put it on here yet it, it's not even tightened down i just got it all thrown together uh, it's going to be tight this way, which is good. That's a good thing. You have a good compact fit. But uh, when putting these things together, I learned a long time ago, uh, you know, when you buy those that furniture off of TV or whatever, and they send it to you in a box, and you have to put it all together with little nuts and bolts, and then you get a, uh, you get a little diagram book, something like this. I know you've been there, done that. If you're married, you probably have. Um, so I found a trick to this, is if you will assemble the product or assemble the, the piece and lead, see everything's loose. All I've done is actually just started the bolt or started the nut. The whole thing is just loose. It's nothing tight yet. And I get every nut and bolt put in it and then I'll go back and tighten it all down. Okay, what, I, what I used to do was, uh, as I put the bolt in, tighten it as I go, and then nothing ever lines up. So uh, that's just a good little trick I learned. Hope it helps. Uh, this thing 
has a real cool, and this is one of the things I really like about it. In the hitch, you can see here, it actually uses a lag bolt with a lock washer and a lock nut, um, a lock washer and a flat washer. Now, that's supposed to come all the way through, but it doesn't on our, my truck because I use the two and a half class five receiver. And let's see if we can get a shot of this shim here. You can see this piece of metal in here. That's a square tube that shims it because the, what, the, what it's doing is this is a two inch square tubing. My receiver is a two and a half. I have two and a half receivers on all our trucks. Uh, I just like the bigger hitches, the bigger uh, receivers, the re Reese hitch, you can see it there. Uh, cool thing is it kind of kind of angles up. So it kind of lifts this whole system up a little bit more off the ground. So if you're going out of the McDonald's parking lot and you go into the dip to go out on the road, it shouldn't drag. And then another cool thing is you pull this pin here, right here, just pull this pin out and this whole unit flips up. And, and it, you know, if you're riding down the road and you don't really have that on it, you're, you know, whatever. Uh, another cool use for this would be for the, the solo guy that mows yards and he uses like a little push mower, 21 inch push mower. I don't see any issues at all with being able to get a mower on here, a uh, push mower and it'll haul it just fine. Uh, so the, the neighborhood kid with a, a uh, truck, a little pickup truck and a push mower at Moe's Yards and trying to make some extra money and getting out there and getting it and working hard, man, hey, this would be great for you, man. Uh, you can pick this up for, I think I got mine for less than $300 on eBay. And again, it's the, oh. We have to pay respect to that every time we see it. <laughs> um, Archer Toe, 16 inch aluminum cargo ramp carrier. So, uh, got everything put together. I'm gonna take a minute and I'm gonna take my little uh, speedy impact wrench right there and uh, zip zip and tighten it all up real good. And we'll get a little shot of driving this thing up on there and see how well it does. There you go. This would be, uh, I guess this would be considered in transport mode. And it's, it's, it's pretty sturdy uh, for what you're gonna be, for what I'm gonna be doing with it. Uh, it works. It has these pins right here that go on the side right here and you line that hole up. Course you gotta line the hole up. It goes in there like so. So that's not too bad. Good locking feature there. And I, I like this feature right here that all this stays attached. That's pretty cool. Nothing gets lost. And you simply grab it here, pull it out. You can probably just step on it. But 
stuff on it there's your ramp so let's give it a go seems like it goes on there just fine uh of course there's no parking brake on this this unit so you definitely don't want to go down the street like this you definitely want to secure secure the load and uh it's pretty neat they, they come with these little hooks these little eyelet hooks um i think they're strong enough we'll see and what i've done instead of putting them straight in line i've kind of angled them toward the inside that way my my hook or my strap can go through here and lock on with because it, it's a kind of a tight fit here because my angle of of uh tension is going to be at an angle it's going to be going this way so i didn't want it straight because if i did that it's going to have the tendency to bend this thing so i've, I've lined this up with the angle at the, that the strap so that it, all the tension will be right down here at the bottom and it will be pulling the tension will be pulling back toward the machine all right so now i've got my load you, you can see what I was talking about. Now my hook has room to actually hook around here. I got my load secure. Uh, I'm very confident that that's not going anywhere. So uh, there you go. Uh, honestly, with this machine, uh, I, got, I got the 60 inch version, 60. I'm pretty sure they make a 48 inch version and that 48 inch version would be a gracious amount of space for this this particular setup so hope this helps and uh, we'll check you later